Guys, today I am really excited to be taking a look at a USB-C hub. Okay, now I've reviewed a ton of these, so why am I excited about this one? We'll find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seen for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, yeah, I'm pretty excited today to be taking a look at this 10 gigabit per second USB-C hub from Mini Sapporo. As I've said guys, I've reviewed a ton of these USB-C adapters. And you know what? There are a lot of great ones out there. But the biggest issue I have with all of the ones I've reviewed is yeah, they've got memory card readers, multiple 4K HDMI and Ethernet ports and, 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 and. But what they don't have are any USB-C ports. All of the adapters that I have reviewed over the past five years have all been USB-A port extenders. So when Mini Supuro reached out to me and asked me to take a look at this one, I was definitely super excited. Now guys, before we get into it, like I said, Mini Supuro sent me this USB-C hub to review in exchange for my honest opinion. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that whatever I review, you're always gonna get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So let's get this out of the box and see what we have. First off guys, open up the box and we've got some instructions. And then we have the USB-C hub or dongle, whichever you please. And that's it. Quick look around and the first thing you'll notice is a nice long USB-C connecting cable. Usually these are pretty short, so nice touch here. Next thing is, this thing feels solid in the hand. It's made from aluminium, which feels pretty nice, whilst being compact, so easy to travel with. Looking across the front, we have four USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. And on the other side, we have a USB-C power delivery port, so you can keep your device powered up and charging whilst plugging in your peripherals. And that's a good thing. Now guys, nothing to do here when setting up. Just plug the dongle in and all is plug and play. You can use this device with any device that supports USB-C on Windows, Mac, Android, and even iOS. In fact, you don't even have to plug into a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port because all things with USB 3.2 and USB 3.1 it's all backward compatible with older USB standards. So if you're using a USB 2.0 device or cable and plug it into a USB 3.2 port, you kind of get a connection, which is fine, but you're always gonna get the speed of the slowest link in the chain. However, if you do have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and want to take advantage of its 10 gigabit speed, make sure you look out for a cable that supports 10 gigabits per second. Because you know what, it could be USB 3.2 Gen 2 or USB 3.1 Gen 2, it doesn't really matter. And make sure guys that the peripheral does the same. That's what you're gonna need to get the full speed. But in terms of convenience and extending USB-C ports, whatever they are, it doesn't really matter. Now, you might be thinking, why do I even need one of these? Well. You know what, if you've got multiple ports on your computer, then yeah, maybe you don't. But if you are using devices that are limited on ports for this, then this is a godsend. For example, here I have a Retina MacBook. Now, you know what, I love this machine as it's lightweight and has great battery life thanks to its M processor and can even be charged up using an ordinary portable battery pack. But it only has one USB-C port, so you're either charging or connecting peripherals, but not anymore guys, not with this. 
plug in the Mini Sapporo USB-C hub, and now you can connect up to four USB-C peripherals and keep yourself powered up all at the same time. And that, my friends, is most welcome. In fact, you can even plug in one of those USB-A dongles, so you can kind of also connect USB-A devices, such as DVD drives. How cool is that? Same on the iPad, one port. Okay, with this keyboard setup, you can charge on one side of the keyboard, right? But if you don't have one, and let's face it, they are ridiculously expensive, you will be limited to one charge port and one data port. So if you want to plug in more than that, you're kind of stuck. So guys, there you have it. This 10 gigabits USB-C hub from Mini Sapporo is a very useful piece of kit. It's lightweight, solid, and has all of the connectivity you need to extend your USB-C ports at blisteringly fast speeds whilst keeping you powered up. And you can even plug in another dongle if you need those old USB-A ports. Guys, if you have any comments or questions, then please leave them below. I'll leave any product links and any discount codes in the description. And if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to Mini Sapporo for sending me this very useful USB-C hub. I'm Dave with Seen for a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.